Oh, I can see flashes and things happening up on the horizon there. There's probably a body sliding down the hill as well. <laughs> Typical Skyrim. I've been having some crashes recently though, so um, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to get to record. Oh, someone's coming down the hill. Hopefully not to get me, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, so I might have to cut this out before long because I don't know why I'm getting crashes. I've reduced the the demand on my graphics card a little bit, but I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I've turned off error on the desktop as well to hopefully re reduce the demands there, but um, just too much for my for my poor little graphics card, maybe. I'd rather you lot weren't there, actually, because you look like you could be bad news. Okay, well, they're just running off and doing stuff up there. Oh! They're raising things from the dead. I'm not happy about that. I'm not getting... Mika doesn't seem bothered. Look, he's just laying down. God, zombies, arrows. There's a deer running past. <laughs> it's just general chaos, Skyrim chaos. Why don't you lot... Just... What are you even fighting? Bandits versus... Oh, are these... Oh. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna... Oh, that's a zombie. I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. What flames? Oh, you mean my sword? I'm just protecting myself. Yes. Who are these people here? They don't look bad. They look like they're wearing priestly robes. Hello? They're adventurers. I thought maybe they were... Let's be like Vigilance of Stendar for a second there. No, I'm fine. I'm happy for you to... Ooh. Do you mind if I um, search your ash pile? <laughs> Let's brush the ash off the aisle there and carry on walking. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I've got away without the crashes this time. I'm not sure if this kicks off again. <laughs> I might have missed the body that was rolling past. I don't know. I'm just glad that no one's attacking me. Bit cheeky of that adventurer, though, to be saying that I, uh, I was being dangerous with my flames. Just jealous, jealous of my, jealous of my nice magical sword. A signpost. We have someone up on the road up ahead. In a robe, could be good or bad. We have bodies, and a cart. Okay, first of all, cart person. Well, the night is falling. So I'm hoping that Car I'm seriously hoping that Carth Weston is a is a uh, Shushmiko. And there's busy crossroads here. Is a village that I can go to? I know there. White Run. What? Oh my goodness! You lot really. What does that say? That says Markath. That one. That one says Markath. That one says Markath. What? Which one? Did it, which one is it then? I'm betting it's this way. Last time we saw, it said Karth Wasson and Markath were in the same direction. So I want to go that way. After I finish looting this this bandit here, what is this? There's a chest here. Well, doesn't seem to be anybody's chest. So let's have a little look. Okay. Not sure I feel completely guilty about that. I don't think I'm stealing. Um, I think I'm going to go this way to find Karth Wasson and hopefully Markath. Oh goodness, there's fight going on. I don't know who's good and bad over here. I'm not getting an indication about who's a goodie and who's a baddie. I don't... I'm very suspicious though. Miko, you're to... Oh god. Why is it so busy around here? It's like Bandit Central around here. Oh, that's just adventurous, I think. Did you just kill someone over here? Who did you shoot? Is there a body there? There's a body here. Is it a body of who? Another robber. Wow. With two steel swords. Well, I'm keeping on going this way. Oh, we've got a tower up there. We've got another person off the side of the road. Are you... you're not after me, are you? If you are, I'm probably dead, but... No. Well, these guys just remind me. I have got a torch on me. I might start walking along with my torch. Make me feel a bit more confident in the dark. Well, quite frankly, the most most confidence-inducing thing around here is Miko. We've got a creepy guy up on the road up there. One or two people, I'm not sure. 
not very keen on the idea of people hanging around off the side of the road. Although, they're probably just adventurers since one of them got a torch, I think. I'm just going to save here. <laughs> I don't know. He seems very busy around here. I'm a little nervous. What are you? Is that a, is that a, is that like a... I can see something up there. Is that like a, a cave or something up there? I don't know. Be on your guard, boy. I'm not sure. There's a tower or something up there, I think. It looks fairly regular. It might be a rock formation, but it looks pretty regular. What else have we got? On the road at night. I mean, the, uh... All the moths and the bugs and things this is very nice. Very scenic, but I'm not sure... I don't know. Am I still on the right road? I think I am. This road is very windy. Hold it. You're not after me, are you? Oh, you're a storm cloak. I'm a little bit more happy about that. Oh, is that more punch-ups going over there? It looks like it might be. The fact that Garb was running away from a punch-up is very, very nerve-wracking. What could possibly induce a guard to run away from a fight? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm seeing these. I thought I saw blue flashes on the horizon. Like someone was uh, casting magical magical powers again. Is there a tor There's someone with a torch over there. You wouldn't expect a robber to have a torch. Maybe. But I'm not trusting anybody around here. You look like a normal traveller, though. Excuse me. Hello. Good evening. Hmm? What do you need? I'd like to know where, where Karth Wasson is, but... You don't really be in the mood for talking. Right, I can't see any no signs of a fight. It isn't the usual situation where we turn up just after a fight has happened and there's corpses everywhere, which we then loot. A massive ribcage there. All I want... It's just to see the friendly sights of a... Oh! Oh, there's wolves here. Well, I guess somebody might have done that. There's a wolf. Let's take his wolf pelt. I want to see the friendly sight of, like, an inn or something up ahead. That's what I'd love to see. These moths are great, though. Look at that. Wonderful glowing moths. Come on, boy. Keep an eye out for me. I see, I knew I shouldn't have left so late in the morning. I knew it would cause trouble. If I just left a few hours earlier, it would be so much easier. Ooh, we're pretty high up now, aren't we? Look. It's like we're almost level with the peaks of those mountains over there. We're quite close to the top of this one. time. You're very late into the night now. At least there are less travellers running around, waving swords at each other and being aggressive. And if anyone attacked me now, I don't know what I'd do. I, didn't, I can't run up there. And I can't jump over there. I'd probably break my neck. Run hell for leather back down the road again. I suspect Miko would simply have a go at them if he wouldn't back off if, if anything attacked now. Come on, where is this village? Just let it not be another fortified mysterious fort. I think we're very nervous. Let's see those. You know what, as well? Let me get my torch out. Have I not got that set? I know I've got some torches. Yeah, I've got loads of torches on me, look. That's nice. A reassuring glow to let all the rambers know that I'm... <laughs> One person 
It's one person with the torches approaching. Wow, look at that. Is this cloud come off the mountain? Looks like it is. Clouds breaking slowly off the top of the mountain like a wave. Amazing. Oh, we have... Um, let's put the torch out again, shall we? Miko, what's the betting that that is not a uh, village over there? What a dubious looking fort. The trouble is... What are we going to do about it? Because... We're going to have to pass by it. I don't think we can shortcut around off this cliff here. Quiet boy, try to keep your noise down. Can't see anybody. Is that someone moving there? There is, there's someone on the battlements there. I wonder if they're good or bad. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Oh, Miko's in there already! Careful, boy! Got her. Let's keep moving, come on, run, 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 don't, run, don't bother with her. Just keep going. Oh! Got her. Quick. Let's just grab what she's got. Let's go. Come on. Miko. Miko, where have you gone, boy? Come on. Anyone pursuing? Did I grab her gear? I'm not sure. Did. Okay, we'll look at that later. Let's just keep moving. Oof. Savages, did you see them? Those wild hair and the spiky skull cloves and goodness knows what. Right, we've got someone over there up ahead. No, we haven't. It's a goat. Are you alright, by the way? Did you get hurt? I was getting very worried about hitting you. You seem fine, though. Good boy. Which you do, you do rather restrict my options here. I can no longer run away if I know you're going to savage the nearest thing coming out. Uh, okay, this is good. Mark, Hath and Carlson. So we did make the right choice at the last signpost. That's excellent. I was really worried that we were going the wrong direction. Is this a precipitous drop? It is! Ooh, wow. It's not as high as Dragon Bridge, but it's still an impressive view. It was very much out in the wild, so I hope we get to Carthwasson soon. Why can't they put directions on their signposts? I mean, just tell us roughly how far it is. Be nice to know. Be reassuring. We're not being pursued by whoever those people were either, which is good to see. Very different field of the country out here. We started in the, in the snowy wastes of, of Windhelm. A mountainous, but a bit, uh, a bit more, a bit warmer country of, of solitude. And this feels much more. I don't know. These twisted trees feel like a windswept landscape. There's still that definite feel of age to the landscape again. Like I said before, just a wind blown, windswept, and worn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Keep an eye out, boy. I'm not even sure this is here. Are these adventurers? Soldiers. It's, I know it's stealing, sort of. Well, it's not really stealing. It's it's taking what we need from these guys. Do we need any of that? It's not really, really. Oh! I can't know what weapon we're carrying now. We have got an Imperial bow already. What has killed all these soldiers, boy? Let's put this... Let's put these torches out, shall we? 
Ah, storm cloaks and Actually I'll take their daggers as well. It's a storm cloak soldier or something here. What was that? He's in rags. Like he was a prisoner or something, but who killed these people? We did see that Stormcloak running past earlier, didn't we? Maybe there was a big fight, in which case, where are the rest of the Stormcloaks? Maybe that was the only survivor. I can't believe there were that many... Someone took on that many Imperial soldiers. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, finding a bunch of dead soldiers on the road is very worrying. So they got attacked by a wild animal, one of those saber tooths. Chicken for an imperial soldier can take out a saber tooth tiger. I don't know, maybe not if they're ambushed. Oh, tell me this is another signpost. That'd be wonderful if it is. It'd be a wonderful change. What was I saying before about the landscape? I can't remember. It's a very dramatic landscape. Very damp. Damp feel to it. Damp and windswept. Oh, we're still going the right way. Carth Russell, what does this say? That says Markath that way. Well... I'm sure it is, but I think we need to stop. It's getting very late now. It must be about midnight now. I'm willing to take a little detour just to see if there's a... There's a... Uh, an inn up here. I don't know how far it is, who knows. Oop. Could before like that, it usually means adventurers, but... Why am I even drawing my sword? Am I going to... I don't want to run if they come for me. Oh, they're not actually. Look, I know who they are. Hello, it's a Thalmor. Okay, well they're they're not they're never very polite when they're back in Cyrodiil, but they're, <laughs> they're even more rude here. Maybe they're as high, tiny, strong as we are walking through the uh, the wilderness. Although, again, you'd have thought three Thalmor and a wizard would be. Um, more than a match for anything around here, but I was going to say hello and, and ask if he knew if he, if he was a, if he visited 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 Cyrodiil, but I was not in the mood for chatting. Shh, what's the matter, boy? Why are you growling? Why are you growling? Is that someone there? Oh no, it's a village, look! It's a village! Carthwasson. I presume, you know, must be. What's going on here, though? It's like a standoff. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no Forsworn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? Will I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. What the heck was that going on? Hello? You should talk to Arnathach if you have business with the mine. Not that there's much these days. I work in the mines. I hunt. Everything else I do is my business. Is this the chap over here you're talking about? Hello. Hello, excuse me. If the for I'm one of the few native sons of the Reach that owns land. Doesn't make me very popular. Native sons? I thought the, the Nords were the natives. Okay. Uh, are, are you in charge here? My family has owned Carthwaston for generations. Rare for anyone in the Reach that isn't a Nord. Not that it does me any good. Nords think I'm working for the Forsworn. Forsworn think I'm working for the Nords. 
I don't know who the Force One are, but I gather you're not Nords. So you, you're like uh, people that used to live here before the Nords. Well, I guess the Nords came. I don't know my history very well. I guess the Nords came from somewhere else and and took over here. I, I, I don't know. What, 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 what? Were you having trouble with the mine there? I saw you being verbally roughed up by those other guys. Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Force One attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. Well, it certainly sounds like you're being shaken down. Um, I'm not a soldier. I, I'll, I can, I'll try to convince them to leave if I can, if I can, if that helps in some way. You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. When I don't really want to get in a fight, who are the Silverbloods? A family of thieves, running their corrupt empire from Markarth. The Silverblood family own half the Reach, and they won't stop until they own all of it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know what, tonight I just want to rest somewhere. Have you got an inn around here? I mean, this is a smaller village than I expected, maybe. Um, can I see his house, I presume, isn't it? I can't stay in here. No, not let him, that's, that's locked. Uh... Are these all just village houses? Does that mean I've got nowhere to stay around here? Who's this over here? Hello? Yes? Oh, a peddler. Um, <laughs> it's the middle of the night, but have you got anything for sale? Um, I don't think you've got anything useful that I actually want, but let me, um, let me give you some of the things that I've got. Maybe you're happy with this. I haven't actually looked at these yet. I might look at that in a minute, that bow. That's interesting. Uh, and give you this dagger. And I can give you... I've got these three steel daggers. I don't need three steel daggers. What else have I got here? But I noticed these the other day. I think these are the... These are the things that I was wearing in the dream world with Sher Gorath. So that's interesting we've managed to keep that. I'm not going to sell that off. What do we have here? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Fairy skull armor. Um, I, I'm happy to sell that off. Uh, these boots, yeah, I think we can sell the boots as well. And the spiky gauntlets. Oh my goodness, is a <laughs> that's the headdress that the other lady was wearing. The savage that attacked us. It's a, it's a, um, it's a deer <laughs> dress. It's like mostly just sort of deer skull. There you go. You can have that. I'm, oh wow. Okay. Um, not sure where I got that from, but I think I'll be, uh, I'll be keeping that. What else have you got here? You haven't got a lot of money left. Have you? An eye of a sabre cat. This just doesn't sound very sanitary. Let's sell that off. I'm keeping that for my souvenir. I've got my book. And I don't think you've got enough money left for me to... I'll sell you one of the bear pelts. I don't need two bear pelts. Have you got anything worth buying? A piece of silver ore. Interesting. Um some lock picks. No, you've not okay. I'm just happy to have sold off my stuff. Well, thank you very much. See ya. Where um Now well, you come out of this house. Can I stay in here? Is there like somewhere for for travelers I can stay? That's a, a barracks. What else do we have over here? Someone else's house? Someone's house. So what are we going to do? Miko, there's nowhere to stay. I thought this was going to be a village I could stay in. But apparently not. Um, what are you growling for, boy? I don't want to go in the mine. I want to try and convince these people to leave, but it's the middle of the night. Uh, I'm feeling very tired. Why don't we go and um, find somewhere to sit down? That's the mine over there. It's a bit cheeky, I know, but I think I'm just going to have a rest for a little bit. It's not a proper night's proper, not a proper rest. I'm just going to sit here for a while and catch my breath. A lot of walking. I think we'll have to have a long day resting somewhere. Let's um, let's take stock of what we've got here. What food have we got here? You know what we could have? We'd have some of this spiced wine, couldn't we? That sounds very nice. We'll have some spiced wine, and we'll have um. Not sure how long the fish will last. Let's eat the fish. We both lots of fish, and we'll have uh, some carrots and cabbages. And we're going to stay here just for an hour, I think, and have a. It's the middle of the damn night, but you know, 
a rest is uh, a rest is a rest. I don't think we're going to get anywhere to sleep tonight. We're going to have to have a, a long rest somewhere in town, and we finally get to Markath. We find another inn along the way. So let's go and um, let's go and talk to these people in the mine. <laughs>